We're standing alongside a freshwater impoundment where the industry stores its water prior to hydraulically fracturing a well. It takes about 5 to 10 million gallons of water to hydraulically fracture a single well. Each truck that might bring a load of water up might, might bring up about 40,000 gallons of water. So if you do the math, the number of water trucks running up and down the roads here to supply enough water to fracture one well might equate to about 1,000 truck trips. By piping the water rather than trucking the water, you can save a lot of truck traffic along with the fuel to drive the trucks up and down the roads here. Not to mention the fact that that many trucks would cause quite a disruption to anybody who's trying to enjoy the great outdoors. So whether the water is trucked or piped, ultimately the water will need to be transferred to the nearest well pad. Oftentimes, temporary overland pipes will be used to draw the water out of the impoundment and take it to the well pad, which might be a mile or more down the road. Another advantage of using the impoundments is that during times of drought, you might not be able to draw water out of the stream or the river, and therefore the industry can pull water out during higher flows, such as during the spring, and fill up these impoundments, and when they need the water later in the season, the water's already there. You'll notice that the impoundment has a black liner. The purpose of that is to prevent the infiltration of any of that water back into the subsurface, so it's more effective at actually storing the water, though on a sunny day like this you may have some evaporative losses. These freshwater impoundments are designed to do just that, store fresh water. There are certain circumstances in which the industry can store brine, that is the salt water that occurs naturally in the earth, in these impoundments, but they must have double liners, have leak detection systems, have monitoring wells, and be much more strongly engineered than just a freshwater impoundment, which really has very little potential impact on the environment. You'll notice that the impoundment has a fence around it, and that's to keep out wildlife and humans from injuring themselves. 